the original season 3 episode 19, No More Heartbreaks. I was very surprised uh, by what they did with this episode. I was so sure that they weren't going to kill off Cammy because they already did kind of the, uh, you know, with the mid-season finale and premiere, they did the surprise death of Cammy, which actually ended up being her turning into a vampire. And I was like, okay, that was a nice little twist. You know, she was turned by Aurora because she knew that that would kind of break Cammy and Klaus apart, which it did for quite a while. And, you know, we have this episode, she's been in the arm, they're doing everything they can to come up with a solution. And so we have the story of, you know, Cammy kind of falling apart and unfortunately, you know, leading to her death. And then the other side of the story is everything going wrong with Cole, which also ended in a crazy surprise. I'm like, that can't possibly be what they're doing in one episode. And I was wrong, they did it. And they, it blew my freaking mind. So we have at least one for sure permanent death, unfortunately. I'm pretty, I'm fairly sure they won't kill off both Cammy and Davina at the same time. I think what they're doing with Davina, especially considering the promo, um, which obviously the most recent episode has already come off, so I have to, you know, catch up. But the promo for that is that she was being tormented and kind of followed by the ancestors. So it's like, all right, if they're taking the time to focus on that, odds are Davina will be fine and we'll get to see her come back. But we have these, you know, stories of two characters and both of which are you know, fairly devastating and it's pretty crazy. So we have Cammy who's been bitten and she goes to the house. Basically, everyone finds out like, hey, she's bit we need to do everything we can to get a cure they tried getting um all the blood that they could which i thought that was actually gonna work i thought for sure because it was like well klaus's bite or klaus's blood can cure his bite so it makes perfect sense that you know getting lucian's blood would cure his bite and that didn't work which makes it fairly crazy and who knows that like, we could find out easily that that was possibly the ancestors that were you know kind of behind the scenes and we just didn't know officially maybe they messed with it or something like that but i thought that was crazy i was like all right that didn't work and um Haley, you know kind of gives the idea like well if we have a hybrid baby maybe it could work she's also a witch and stuff like that so maybe it could work because it's from one of the actual clients that this super venom is made from it might possibly be a cure and sadly nothing works and you know they're going through the ideas and at the end you know Klaus is with Cammy and it's like he has to do what he can to kind of make her final moments and it was a, a pretty sad scene because he says that I believe it was like he says he loves her or something like that because when he first says it's like you know I'll tell you tomorrow and she's like oh I thought you wouldn't tell me until tomorrow and then she kind of realized it like this is it, like, this is kind of it for me, I'm actually going to die, and she was so confident early on, and she mentions that, like, you know, I was, I was sort of cocky and stuff, like, oh, I'm ready to die, and it doesn't matter, and stuff, but in the end, it did, and she was really sad, and we have kind of all the characters when they go to her, and it's like, you know, and this is, after, unfortunately, after she passes away, everyone kind of has their final moment with her, and Vincent is kind of broken down, and stuff, it's like, you know, I have to kind of carry on what you started, and kind of help get this city back to where it needs to be and I have to unfortunately uh, fight even my own ancestors in order to make it happen because they'd rather you know wipe out all, all of the originals despite everything that's happened to them and it was just very interesting you know she broke down or he broke down and then Haley comes in and she has her moment where it's like you know I wish that um, Hope would grow up to really get to know you because you've done so much to help her you know help us and help her even get you know to live to this point and it's like man that's really messed up she's like she won't ever get to know her and she was technically a really big part of her life when she was you know a newborn so it's like man you know just all the future stuff and the ideas and concepts of who she was and how she changed all these people and how they loved her and cared for her like family and i thought it was a really great moment when everyone kind of had their final moments where they walked in and you know said what they had to say their final piece and I thought it was good. I thought it was a really good way to kind of end off her character. Um, like I said, very surprising, because I thought for sure they're going to find a solution to this. So I was like, all right, we still have the cure to this Super Venom, but there's still a ton of issues with that. It's like, all right, we might have this cure. They could easily have done it like, oh, we cured her, but it's such a limited thing. Or, you know, simply put, we have a cure, but 
boom, Lucian kidnaps somebody, he bites them, and it's like, oh, look at this person, and they're dead, or something like that. Still a lot of ways that a cure would do nothing for them, because it's such a potent cure, or such a potent uh, bite from Lucian. And ultimately, it was like, no, nope, we just flat out don't have anything. Nothing worked, and we officially lost Cammy in this episode. And I can imagine how that's going to play out between Klaus and Aurora and how she might feel about that, and also between Klaus and Lucian, because his whole thing was like, well, I'm super mad. And it was funny, his excuse, or his reasoning, I guess, um, I thought was kind of misguided a little bit. Like, it's technically not Klaus's fault that Aurora doesn't have feelings for him. Like, they were... I mean, she never had feelings for him to begin with, to be totally honest. We had the whole flashbacks and everything, and it's like, oh, no, she always liked him. Then he showed up, um, and that was pretty much how it went. Like, he showed up, and they kind of started to do it. That was pretty much how it went. Just like that, it was almost instantaneous. They fell for each other. They started doing it, and that was pretty much it. He was never anything anyway. And then that sort of infatuation that he had with Aurora continued from when he was just a normal human way back centuries ago, even to now. And it's like, well, I can't be with her because totally her reasoning about not liking me, but I totally blame that on Klaus. So kind of misguided there, but ultimately I think the whole idea with them being at war with the originals in, in general is like, well... That might be a poor reason, you know, for this particular episode, but ultimately the main reason he's coming after them is because they all got brainwashed into believing they had to go on the run from Michael. So, you know, that's kind of the re main reason why all that's happening anyway. And now it's, now it's just like every little thing is just a bigger regression and it's just making it worse and worse um, between Lucian and the original. So... I was like, man, that's messed up. You know, and he got what he wanted. He took Cammy down, and they couldn't find a cure or anything like that. So he's on a very dangerous list. Um, I think everyone's going to be after him because everybody liked Cammy. Cammy was pretty sweet. So everybody liked Cammy. So everyone's going to really be gunning for Lucian at this point. And depending on how things go the next time Aurora shows up, that could cause um, her to be on the, you know, number two. I, I don't think she'll end up being number one because, of course, it was Lucian that did it. But... I mean, heck, she's number two already, anyway, but that'll just make it a little bit worse if she's trying to taunt everybody, like, oh, is she dead? That really sucks, but I don't care, or anything like that, but it was just a crazy ending. I couldn't believe they actually did it, so it's sad to see Cammy go. I was very surprised by that, and it was just a huge shock, because they already did the fake death thing, and, you know, it ended up being her turning into a vampire. It's like, okay, so they didn't actually end that, and now we get to see her character continue on as a vampire and how that's going to affect her storyline. And unfortunately, we still don't get to see that. We saw a couple episodes of it. And we get to see her go from, like, kind of the dark version when she was, like, first a vampire and everything super heightened. And she just instantly kind of, like, drained all her feeling. She didn't exactly turn off her switch, but she kind of, like, focused more on the crappy stuff about Klaus than the stuff that she liked about him. So it separated them, and she was just doing whatever, kind of losing it and stuff like that. And then she calmed down and wasn't so uh, amped up. And it's like, man, I thought we'd get to see more of her as a vampire. But sadly, we don't. So we lost Cammy in this episode. And then we have the other side of the story with Cole and Davina, where they're trying to do everything they can to help Cole. Davina's doing anything she can figure out. It's like, what's happening here? Why is this spell doing this? What can we do to help him? And then we find out that the reason he's losing control is not because the ancestors want him to just go nuts and kill a bunch of people. It's actually that they want him to specifically kill Davina because much like Vincent, they kind of have it out for her. Not as much as they do Vincent, uh, clearly. But, you know, maybe that was probably because um, they kind of hated Davina long before the whole resurrection stuff and all that stuff. So... Maybe that's why Vincent didn't exactly have a target on his back until more recently when he was cast out as regent. But Davina has had uh, quite the terrible history uh, in general with the ancestors. So I was very surprised by that. And, you know, Lucian's talking to herself. It's like, oh, I'm not going to kill you. You know, they the ancestors have their whole other thing for you. I can't even touch you right now. So you've got other sort of madness going on. And we find out that Cole is meant to destroy her. Like, he's meant to go crazy until he flat out kills her, and then I guess he's going to be cured. So, 
you know, he wakes up, and I thought he was going to die, because I, I thought for sure that he was putting white oak on it, and I guess that's not what happened. That really confused me when that happened. I was like, oh, they're actually going to kill him off, because I thought that would actually end up being the case. And I think I mentioned that before, like, oh, they might have to kill him off, because there will be no way to stop this curse, because it was embedded within, like, a resurrection spell, so they can't, like, just break it down and poof, he's fine. So I thought, like, they might have to dagger him. And I said that, I was like, oh, you get cursed, boom, you get daggered. And that's pretty much what happened. It's like, I'm cursed, you know, time to dagger me. But I thought for sure, I was like, oh, I pulled this before Klaus had it or something like that. And I was like, oh, man, he wants to die, die. And so they put the white oak on, and I guess that was white oak. And the ancestors, like, did something to dispel it or whatever, because they brought him back to life. Like, they, you know, they pulled the dagger out of him. And so, I'm pretty sure that was meant to be like, he's dead, dead. And they were like, no, F that. Like, you're not killing yourself and taking the easy way out. So they brought him back to life, despite the white oak. Because that's, I'm, I mean, he poured powder on it. It had to be a white, you know, white oak, the last of the white oak. And it was just crazy. Or it was something, I don't know, because it was supposed to be the bullet was the last of the white, white oak. So I'm, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure exactly what the heck he was talking about. But he was like, you know, I snatched the last of it. And I'm like, I thought they used all of that for the ritual. But I just didn't really remember. But either way, they brought him back to life. And as soon as he got up, you know, he tore right into Davina's neck. And I was like, they're not doing that. They're not about to kill both these characters off just like that. And they did. Tech, well, they didn't kill Davina off. Like I said, I'm pretty sure she's going to survive. But Cammy is officially gone. And that really sucks. So sadly, Cammy has gone. Davina's gone for now, and we'll see how that plays out. I don't know if Cole is 100% cured, because the whole point of the curse was for him to lose control and destroy the one he cared about the most. So maybe that part of the spell is over, and if they do bring Davina back, Cole is going to be fine. He won't. The curse won't like reactivate, because he kind of completed what he needed to do. But we'll have to wait and see. But I am excited. We only have... Uh, well, the most recent episode has come out, so I'm pretty sure we only have two episodes left now in the season. But this is a fun episode. It's very sad, but, it, you know, especially with endings, like, we lost Cammy, And then it was like, you know, I thought that we lost Cole as well. as like they actually did end up killing um, him off, so they killed two people. And it's like, oh, no, they brought him back to life. Instantly goes for Davina's, like, they just killed off two characters. The last one, you know, kind of just out of nowhere because he's gone. And it's like, nope, back to life, there goes Davina, so... Not sure how it's going to play out, but I certainly love the nice twist ending. Very sad to see Cammy go, but of course, I want to know what you guys thought about this episode, so please comment below, let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And of course, with us losing Cammy, I definitely want to know what you guys thought about it. Um, this time it is 100% official, I'm pretty sure I asked that uh, last time, because we all thought Cammy was actually dead during the mid-season finale. I don't remember if I thought she might be alive or anything like that, because I think it was because she didn't wake up and her throat was slit and stuff like that. But, you know, now we officially know that Cammy is gone. I doubt they'll be doing another surprise revival of her character. So, I definitely want to know what you guys thought about uh, her death and the way she died. Did you guys think that she would die? That's definitely a big question. Did you think they'd actually kill her? Or did you think they would find a cure for her? Because I thought, they already did the fake thing. Um, you know, a whole new era for her character as a vampire and stuff. No way she's going to die. They're going to find a cure at the last minute, and then that'll be, like, their safety net, at least for a little bit, because, like I said, there's still a lot of things with the Super Venom. That could have been an issue for them, but they'll cure her at least. And then we still have a bunch of other issues, the Cole stuff, just the fact that we have Lucian and Aurora going against them. Still enough of a threat. But they actually did it, so I, I would love to know what you guys thought about Cammy's official death in the series. Um, do you care? Do you not care? Did you like your character, not like her? Um, I think it's hard not to like her character. Like, yeah, you know, she was a great character. She she was that human character. You know, they have this in the Vampire Diaries and Matt, the human character that just makes it, and he's lived longer than she has, which is crazy. Um, especially Matt. I mean, Matt, Jesus, he's just that man. Is, I think he might be a robot because he just lives through everything. But you know, we have her official death, so I, I definitely want to know how you guys feel about that. And of course, um, surprise. I still, I'm, you know, I, I was just wrong, but I don't think they'll do it twice, um, where they'll actually kill off Davina 100%, but I would love to know what you guys think about that as well, and what you guys thought about the episode in general, so please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.